Okay, so if you're looking all over the internet and you're trying to figure out how to use a ratchet strap or it's bundled up on itself and you're frustrated, I'm gonna show you how to unbundle it, fix it, use it, and take it apart all in this video. This is the only video you need to check out. All right, ready? So let's just say it's all bundled up on itself like this and you're frustrated. Well, stop trying to twist it. The thing that you need to do is get your fingers up in here. You might even have to spray some lubricant if there's any around. And you're gonna find that there's two spring-loaded clips. You need to pull both of them at the same time as hard as you can. And the more bundled up it is, is the harder it's gonna be to get a hook on those. But if you're, if you're hooked up to something and you pull really, really hard, it's gonna go pop. And when it pops, what you're gonna have to do, uh, let's just say, I got the tail end, uh, these working ends hooked up. Is you're gonna have to walk backwards and undo the whole thing. Completely take it apart 100%. And you're gonna have to start from scratch again, right? So you see how there's this elbow right here? Elbow inside the elbow, right? You want, when it's finally done and you've, and you've set it up, I'm gonna show you, you want the working end to be on the outside of the elbow, never on the inside of the elbow. I'll explain it right now. So, so you're gonna hook up and tie whatever you're doing, your canoe, your ladder, whatever. You hook up your hook end, and you have your working end here. You see the, the teeth right there, the bite? Okay, so you're gonna run it through the bite and then right back out the other side. So see how you have the elbow and the strap is sticking up on the top side of the elbow, not underneath. Now you wanna pull out all of the slack first, make sure it's hooked, and then you're gonna run it to hook it up like this, watch. So. Keep the tension, and let's just say I want to hook it up here. Now, you don't start ratcheting it. You want to pull out 100% of the slack as you possibly can first before you start to ratchet. Once you've got it nice and taut and you've pulled the slack out, then you begin to ratchet it. So, you see this coming real close? You see how I'm ratcheting it, and I have the working end hooked through the bite and coming out the the top side of the elbow, not not the inside of the elbow, it's on the outside of the elbow. See, look at me, <laughs> sorry. Look at my elbow, my physical elbow. It's on the outside of my elbow, not on the inside of my elbow. So that gives you room to work to ratchet it. And then you wanna take, obviously, the excess. If you're tying down a big load at a truck and you're going on the freeway, you're gonna to wanna to have some twists coming in this to stop it from going like that. All right, and then you're gonna to wanna to tie off all this working end and have multiple straps. Don't rely on just one ratchet strap. You're gonna to wanna to have, like, if you think you need two, make sure you have three to four because one could fail. And then if you wanna undo it again like this, it's super tight. You're gonna to have to get inside and locate these clips pull both at the same time because one isn't going to do anything. This this one won't either. You're going to do both at the same time. These clips will pop and then you pull all the slack out and reset. So there you go. I, I, I've used a hundred ratchet straps. We worked for a, co a company where we had to strap down machines all the time and what would happen was they would be bundled up and coiled up so much on themselves that the new employees couldn't get them apart, and then the experienced employees would just start yelling at the new employees, what are you doing, what are you stupid? And nobody actually knew how to actually use the ratchet strap, so there was a bunch of idiots calling each other idiots, and they never just take five minutes to teach them how to use a ratchet strap. I got more videos in the link below all about ratchet straps. If this one didn't make sense for you, watch it over, or I got other videos about the same thing. Later.